guys, today we're going to be talking about innate lymphoid cells, also known as ILCs. Our lymphoid cells are found in our innate immune response. They respond to infections from foreign invaders like microbes, fungus, all those nasty little, little suckers that make us sick. They also regulate homeostasis and inflammation. In other words, these guys help out our first responders in our body and they send out all these signals to our little soldiers that help them out to kill the bad guys. Hey guys, so I'm, so I'm Chris and I'm just going to reiterate exactly why these ILCs or these innate lymphoid cells are so important to us. So now we, we've heard this homeostasis word a couple of times now, now, right? So what exactly does it mean? Homeostasis is like the time when you first saw your mom make chocolate milk. If she added too much syrup, then she would add more milk. Having too much or too little of an ingredient can then ruin your, cho your chocolate milk. Just like having too much or too little of something can disrupt the normal processes within your body. In regards to your immune system, having hostile invaders set up camp and use your own body's resources can cause your body to go out of homeostasis. That's when these guys come in and help restore order. And I'm here to talk about what goes wrong if they don't work. So, let's say we have a virus and they're leaving all this crap in your cells. That can lead to infection. And this infection is gonna to lead to inflammation in your body, produced by cytokines and chemokines, which also act send smoke signals to the rest of your body to let them know that something's wrong. But if these aren't working, then the body might not know there's something wrong. And something as simple as a flu virus can become fatal in that case. The innate lymphoid cells also can take a piece of the viral uniform and present it to other immune cells to let them know what they should be trying to kill. But if this doesn't work, let's say this cell grabs something of its own body, then these other immune cells can attack your own body. And this is what happens in things like lupus and other autoimmune disorders. Okay. So ILC is ones they protect against intracellular pathogens. They promote innate immunity to intracellular pathogens by producing TNF gamma and TNF and INF alpha. Whereas ILC2s, they protect against extracellular pathogens, where they promote innate immunity to uh, large parasites. And then lastly, ILC3s, they protect against extracellular bacteria and fungi by promoting innate immunity to fungi and extracellular bacteria by limiting replication, uh, dissemination, and tissue damage caused by uh, pathogenic opportunistic bacteria.